Hi everyone, today we are going to make this beautiful image in Ada Photoshop and there are a lot of tricks and trips related to this tutorial and we are going to teach you step by step everything in real time then what you are waiting for let's get started okay now let's first open our new document in Adobe Photoshop just click new and you will get a new dialog box and you have to put just 400 width and maybe 300 height the width and height should be greater because the quality will remain then very nice now you have to click create and you will get your new document now I am going to open my image that is for that little girl and we are going to crop that one for these the best option which we have now it is for quick selection tool and I am going to select everything for this one and now just you have to click and drag and everything will select uh, which I am just selecting right now the break background but if you are going to see that the camera is already selected just hold down your alt and drag here and you will find that now we have just removed that area from camera now again you are going to select your background and continue that until you will get the complete girl to be selected now let's okay you have to remove that part and now again select the rest of your image and now you are going to see that here you have again not selected just hold down your alt and remove everything and just make clear selection and now select the rest of your image and do the same procedure again and again and let's try to select the background and just try to a little bit adjust the air and now uh, it seems all right to me okay let me just find one thing that either everything is selected yes for now it is looking great and what we are going to see that uh, right now we have just selected the background and the girl is not selected therefore we are going to come to the selection and we are reverse the selection now you will see that the girl is selected and the background is not selected just do one thing come to the edit and copy that one and paste here control v and now control t you will get a selection now one thing before just uh, transforming that girl you have to right click in your layer and convert to smart object because when you are going to convert that to smart object and now if you are going to scale down that that image and again if you are going to increase the size of that image then the quality will not be destroyed and you will get the same quality as it is it was before because now let me just double click in smart object and you will find that the exact size of images here therefore you have just scaled down the smart layer and that is the speciality of smart layer now one thing we have to adjust that there are a lot of miss background which we have selected just select your eraser and now let me just double click my smart object 
and now we are going to erase some of that part and if you want to just decrease the size then you can decrease and you can also use that with braces or bracket in your keyboard while right if you have left bracket then it will decrease if you are pressing the right bracket then it will decrease increase the size of your brush okay let me quickly just do some adjustment to the air okay we have roughly we are going to okay now I will come to smirk tool and if you don't have smirk tool you are going to click in that and you are going to use smirk tool and in smirk tool you have brush which is uh, that one then now you are going to just smirk your image a little bit to make it a little bit realistic air now just let me do some now you are looking that everything is looking good great and we are just making some adjustment to the air to the hair and now just let me do some adjustment here as well okay everything else is great and it is looking good now just save this one control s and it is in smart object now closing the smart object and you will find that it has been applied to here now right now okay the next thing which i have let me just increase the width of that one and just press the x and let me just do one more time just increase the width and just change it to the white the f the background should be white okay now it is white click ok and just bring your that image here and now we are going to open our new image that is this one and now we are going to select our frog that is very beautiful okay just take me the brush okay now just let me select the frog it's very beautiful everything is same with the same procedure you are going to select everything and right now we are doing with same techniques and yes there are many different techniques with different photo shop expert may use but for me I think that is the best option and it is also easy okay everything is now selected I think no other mistake are there just let me remove here as well a little bit yes and now control c we are going to copy that one and we are going to bring that here now again just right click and make convert smart object and control t you have to increase the size of that frog and click ok and if you check the quality is nice but I have to decrease the size of the girl as well control T and just scale down that one and it seems that 
the girl is capturing the image of that frog and the frog is very surprised and happy at the same time okay now we are going to use the background and for that let me a little bit adjust my canvas and click ok now open my that road and we are going to select everything and there is selection you are going to click control a which is the shortcut select all now you are going to con press control c copy that one and bring here to uh, and one thing you have to remember that uh, as you are using that road for background you have to bring that to the bottom layer and let me also rename that one just double click in layer and call that girl and that is frog and that is let me just also convert that to smart object and control T now just increase the size as much as you want and now let's adjust again the size of girl and frog and they should be here now control T again and we are going to adjust the size looking cool now select your background layer which is road just let me just write road and mask that one and come to your gradient and select your transparent gradient that is the one which we have selected right now and now just select like this one and as you are watching that we have just removed the top part now again open and go to sky and control a which will select everything and now control c copy and control v and again we are going to convert that as smart object as well and let me just convert that to smart object now control t and you have to scale it now again we are going to do one thing that we have to select okay let me just adjust a little bit and now we are going to again select and make mask as well and now this time from bottom you have to select C and now it looks good to me and you can adjust the layer as well as much as you are going to let it to be down as much as you want that to be downward then you have to select these now again let me just select my girl and the frog and press ctrl T and should be here and we are going to make some shadow at the feet of that girl and frog for that we have to make one new layer and bring that to the uh, bottom part uh, bottom of that girl and frog as well and now you have to select your brush and in brush you have your brush that one you are going to select okay and just make the opacity a little bit less and the flow as well now we are going to make with right bracket we increase the size and now we are going to make some shadow 
that it looks good and now of the galley as well at the same time you are going to select and you can see it looks better okay the last thing if you are going to select then it is better otherwise it may not affect your project for example now we are going to open and bring that light and now control a again control c copy that one and come to okay now control v we have to select control v to paste and now increase the size of that sky okay and now we are going to make multiply or maybe lighten yes that is screen screen seems good to me now if you are going to check that uh, everything is looking good the sun is from here now the complete procedure is completed now we have a very nice sun is shining and it's, its reflection is here you can see and the girl is smiling and capturing the frog and the frog is surprised and at the same time he is very happy and holding the heart in his hand and that is the beauty of manipulation in the fort for two and i hope you have just learned something from here and a lot of uh, subscribers and people just complained about my previous video tutorial that i have not explained a single word and the video was very fast now i hope that this time you have learned a lot from there and different tics, tips and tricks we have shared with you people just don't forget to subscribe if you have not sub subscribed yet and thumbs up that video and if you have again any problem just comment below and if you want to learn some more tips and tricks for adobe photoshop and adobe illustrator then you have to check my udemy which is udemy.com slash user slash jumpshit and raza slash we have three courses over here with more than 3000 students and you will definitely check those tutorial as well for your more amazing and brilliant tricks and we have also our website which is professionaltutorial.com and you may also check that one for a lot of tips and tricks related to photoshop and all other texts and technologies yeah.